Hello, Hill School. My name is Rose, and welcome to this week's episode. If it is happening at Hill, we have it. Let's go to Gia first with the upcoming lunch menu. Hello, Gia here with the lunch menu for next week. On Monday, we have no school, so enjoy a great lunch at home. On Tuesday, we have wild mic bites with sauce or assorted deli. On Wednesday, it's cheese and pepperoni pizza. On Thursday, it's chicken smackers with a mini pretzel. And Friday, it's mozzarella sticks with sauce or assorted deli. Remember that you can always have a salad, yogurt, or peanut butter and jelly sandwich. If you don't like the main choices, have a great Memorial Day. Hi, my name is Ella, and I'm here with this day in history for this week. For this week, this day in history, we are focusing on Jordan Romero. On May 22, 2010, at the age of 13, he became the youngest person to climb Mount Everest. By December 25, 2011, at the age of 15, he became the youngest person to climb the summit of the highest mountains on each of the seven continents. He is now touring the United States, climbing the tallest peak in each of the 50 states. Now on to this or that with Grant. Hi, Grant here with Giovanni for this week's This or That questions. Would you rather eat cheeseburgers or tacos for the rest of your life? Tacos. Next, would you rather play football or watch football? Play football. Would you rather read a book or watch a movie? Watch a movie. Would you rather have it be summer or winter all year long? Summer. Now I want to Zoe with this week's Student Spotlight. Hi, Zoe here with this week's Student Spotlight. Today joining us is Janila, who is a New Hill School Hawk. She has shown a lot of courage throughout the whole time she has been here. Being the new student in a class or school is not easy. How would how were you able to show courage in joining a new school? Um, by helping others and make sure everything is like positive. Were was there anyone or or anything that helped you to be courageous? A few people. So, like, Bella, Aaliyah, Tegan, Haley, Zoe, and Miss Parker, and Miss Postelli. Great job. Now, Hill School, make sure you are being courageous. Also, when you are faced with a new challenge now on to aubrey with this week's jokes hi rose here with the word of the week the word for this week is wabi sabi wabi sabi is the view or thought of finding beauty in every aspect of imperfection in nature here is is an example of wabi sabi used in a sentence i am all about wabi sabi these days perfection is overrated and some examples of wabi-sabi is dried flowers or branches, cracked or chipped pottery, and a certain style of art. Thanks for listening. Maria here with some trivia for the Hill School. How many books are in the library? How many books are in the library? If you have an answer, put it on a scrap piece of paper with your first and last name on it. I will repeat, put it your answer on a scrap piece of paper and put your first and last name on it and put it in the box by Mr. Barton's room. Now on to Kira with Cool Animal. Hi, Kira here with a cool animal. This animal is the Japanese spider crab. This animal lurks in the waters of Japan. Its depths range from 160, 164 feet to 1,640 feet. You might, you also might not want to get too close because this spider crab has enough poisonous, poisonous venom to kill prey larger than its size. Each of the spider crab's 10 legs can get up to 12 feet long. Spy, Japanese spider crabs weigh 41 pounds. They are thought to live 500 to 100 years. The female Japanese spider crabs lay up to 1.5 million eggs a season, but only a few survive. But even though it's big, it still has predators like octopuses, stingrays, and large fish. One last thing is they look scary, but there are gentle giants who love to be held. That is all for Cool Animals. Hope you have a great week. Bye, Hill School. We would like to finish off this episode with a reminder of our students about why we have Monday off. On the last Monday in May, every year we celebrate a, memor a Memorial Day. Do you know why we celebrate a Memorial Day? Well, on this day, we honor those who have served in the U.S. military and died, and died a while serving. Thank you to all the great service men and women uh, who gave 
uh, the ultimate sacrifice, uh, so, th uh, so that we can have some great, uh, many great freedoms in the in, in the United States. Take a moment in, in between the fun barbecues and time at home to remember of uh, those who are not with us, us to celebrate, uh, uh, because they served their country to the end. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful long weekend, Hill School. Uh, this episode with a minor of a student. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm going to start over. How were you able to show courage in joining a new school? Mm, by helping other students. Exa is an example of Wabi Sabi used in a sentence. I am <laughs> about. Hi, my name is Ellen. I'm here with this.